everything inside me. Britney Spears' testimony against her conservatorship at a Los Angeles court contained disturbing details, confirming that she is truly a mind-controlled industry slave. Since her highly mediatized head-shaving breakdown in 2007, where it was an attempt to break programming, Britney Spears has been stripped of all freedoms, medicated to outrageous degrees, and placed under the conservatorship of abusive ill-meaning individuals. For over a decade, Britney has been attempting to break free from her slave-like existence, where every single aspect of her life is tightly controlled, but the courts of law have consistently ruled against her. Not only that, her pleas for help were continually ignored, and her claims regarding her abusive treatment were dismissed. How is that even possible in the era of female empowerment? Well, Hollywood doesn't really care about empowerment. It is actually based on the exact opposite. Slavery. High-tech, sophisticated, and thoroughly dehumanizing slavery. And there are lots of Britney Spears out there. Britney's case is the most visible example of Hollywood's MK culture. And it became even more visible after her unexpected revelations in court. For viewers of this channel, Britney's claims were probably not surprising, they were merely a confirmation of what was discussed for years. However, to those who don't know about the dark side of the industry, the details shared by Britney are shocking. How can an artist that makes so much money live in such dire conditions? Welcome to the sick world of the occult elite. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And don't forget to subscribe and also click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. On June 23rd, Britney Spears gave a 24 minutes testimony to Los Angeles probate judge Brenda Penny. In reading in a fast paced and sometimes frantic matter, Britney revealed some explicit details about her 13 year conservatorship. Britney's statement began with her explaining how she was forced to go on tour in 2018. Because she was under conservatorship, Britney could not hire her own lawyers when faced with legal threats. The people who did this to me should not be able to walk away so easily. To recap, I was on tour in 2018. I was forced to do. My management said, if I don't do this tour, I will have to find an attorney, and by contract, my own management could sue me if I didn't follow through with the tour. He handed me a sheet of paper as I got off the stage in Vegas, and said I had to sign it. It was very threatening and scary. And with the conservatorship, I couldn't even get my own attorney. So out of fear, I went ahead, and I did the tour. Back from tour, Britney had to perform in Vegas, and rehearse four times a week. Britney did not want to do any of this, because she needed some time off. The response of her team? They called her therapist. That how handlers deal with MK slaves. Three days later, after I said no to Vegas, my therapist sat me down in a room and said he had a million phone calls about how I was not cooperating in rehearsals and I haven't been taking my medication. All this was false. He immediately, the next day, put me on lithium out of nowhere. He took me off my normal meds I've been on for five years. And lithium is a very, very strong, and completely different medication compared to what I was used to. You can go mentally impaired if you take too much, if you stay on it longer than five months. But he put me on that, and I fell drunk. I really couldn't even take up for myself. I couldn't even have a conversation with my mom or dad really about anything. I told him I was scared, and my doctor had me on six different nurses with this new medication, come to my home, stay with me, to monitor me on this new medication, which I never wanted to be on to begin with. There were six different nurses in my home, and they wouldn't let me get in my car to go anywhere for a month. Then Brittany talked about being forced to go to a small rehab center. In previous videos, I've mentioned that rehab is often code for MK reprogramming. It certainly appears to be the case here. 
Over the two-week holiday, a lady came into my home for four hours a day, sat me down and did a psych test on me. It took forever. But I was told I had to. Then after, I got a phone call from my dad, basically saying, I failed the test or whatever or whatever. I'm sorry, Brittany, you have to listen to your doctors. They're planning to send you to a small home in Beverly Hills to do a small rehab program that we're going to make up for you. You're going to pay $60,000 a month for this. I cried on the phone for an hour, and he loved every minute of it. The control he had over someone as powerful as me. He loved the control to hurt his own daughter 100,000%. He loved it. I packed my bags and went to that place. I work seven days a week, no days off, which in California, the only similar thing to this is called sex trafficking. Making anyone work against their will, taking all their possessions away, credit card, cash, phone, passport, and placing them in a home where they work with the people who live with them. The fact that Brittany compared her situation to sex trafficking is telling, and, in my opinion, deliberate. Some insiders claim that Brittany is being trafficked in elite circles, not unlike other industry slaves. Some also believe that her bizarre Instagram account might be used for this purpose. If Brittany is being trafficked, she's probably also been told that if she ever mentions it, she or her loved ones would be harmed. Maybe comparing her situation to sex trafficking was a way to hint towards it without directly saying it. One thing is for sure, Brittany lived in MK-like conditions during those months in rehab. They all lived in the house with me, the nurses, the 24-7 security. There was one chef that came there and cooked for me daily during the weekdays. They watched me change every day, naked morning, noon and night. My body, I had no privacy door for my room. I gave 8 vials of blood a week. Why did she have to give 8 vials of blood a week? During this time at the rehab center, Brittany had to do undefined work and meetings 7 days a week. If I didn't do any of my meetings and work from 8 to 6 at night, which is 10 hours a day, 7 days a week, no days off, I wouldn't be able to see my kids or my boyfriend. I never had a say in my schedule. They always told me I had to do this. And ma'am, I will tell you, sitting in a chair 10 hours a day, 7 days a week, it ain't fun, and especially when you can't walk out the front door. Then, Brittany stated that she was traumatized which happens to be the goal of trauma-based mind control. I've been in shock. I am traumatized. You know, fake it till you make it. But now I'm telling you the truth, okay? I'm not happy. I can't sleep. I'm so angry. It's insane. And I'm depressed. I cry every day. If Brittany refuses to obey orders, there are constant threats of punishment. How come I was always threatened by my dad and anybody that participated in this conservatorship? If I don't do this, what they tell me, to enslave me to do, they're gonna punish me. Then Brittany expressed a desire to tell her story to the world. However, her own lawyer is telling her to stay silent, because the rehab center might sue her. My lawyer, Samingham, has been very scared for me to go forward, because he's saying if I speak up, I'm being overworked in that facility of that rehab place. That rehab place will sue me. He told me I should keep it to myself. That strange advice coming from her lawyer. Later, Brittany implied that she did not fully trust her lawyer and that she wanted to hire her own. Later, Brittany describes therapy as not something that is healing. Quite to the contrary, they are described as torture sessions. And to be totally honest with you, when Dr. Benson passed away, I got on my knees and thanked God. In other words, my team is pushing it with me again. I have trapped phobias being in small rooms because of the trauma, locking me up for four months in that place. It's not okay for them to send me, sorry, I'm going fast. To that small room like that, twice a week, with another new therapist that I pay, that I never even approve. I don't like it. I don't want to do that. And I haven't done anything wrong to deserve this treatment. Ma'am, I've worked since I was 17 years old. You have to understand how thin that is for me. Every morning I get up to know I can't go somewhere, unless I meet people I don't know every week, in an office identical to the one where the therapist was very abusive to me. I truly believe this conservatorship is abusive, and that we can sit here all day, and say, oh, conservatorships are here to help people. But ma'am, there's a thousand conservatorships that are abusive as well. 
Then Brittany revealed that her handlers force her to have an intrauterine device, or IUD, inside of her, to prevent her from getting pregnant. I have IUD inside of myself right now, so I don't get pregnant. I wanted to take the IUD out, so I could start trying to have another baby. But this so-called team, won't let me go to the doctor to take it out, because they don't want me to have children, any more children. So basically, this conservatorship is doing me why more harm than good. This is the kind of insane stuff that happens to a woman that is being trafficked. Britney's court hearing contained shocking details that revealed the absurd extent of her slave-like status. She confirmed that she was constantly under heavy medication while being forced to deal with all kinds of abusive therapists. She is even forced to have an IUD inside of her, a detail that perfectly illustrates how her abusers are inside of her. Despite everything that was revealed by Britney, I fear that some of the most horrific details were omitted by fear of punishment. Nevertheless, if Brittany doesn't break free from her handlers soon, they might take even harsher measures to keep her mouth shut. As McGowan said, this is not merely about a single pop star. This is about an entire system that strives on controlling people and silencing them when the time has come. Let's hope that Brittany won't be silenced soon. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.